welcome Section G to your diploma ceremony, uh, when we will celebrate each and every one of you. I am so happy to share this moment with you um, and with your friends and loved ones joining us by live stream. I wanted to take a first few moments, if I may, just to share some thoughts. So for friends and family, loved ones and mentors, uh, my name is Emily McComb, and I had the privilege of being what is known as section chair for this wonderful Section G. In that role, I had the honor of welcoming the section together for its very first time as a group. And if I can take you back for a moment to August 30th, 2018, the very first day of HBS begins with all 938 students of the class of 2020 gathered for the opening welcome and the Dean's address. There's a sort of excited, slightly nervous energy. What is this place going to be like? I can't believe I'm here. Everyone keeps telling me that I am embarking on a transformational experience. What does that even mean? It all becomes more real when students move to their classroom for their very first time together. The room that will be their home base for all of their first year. What was a massive gathering of 938 becomes a section of just 93. And those 93 people become for each other such an important part of the HBS journey. For example, in this classroom with this section in that first year, Section G completed more than 250 case studies and spent hundreds of hours learning together. Now, for those of you who don't know, a great case discussion is a skill that is learned and it is a skill that takes patience to build. Doing it well involves the group being able to truly listen to classmates, to be open to new viewpoints, to maybe even changing their minds. It is in that first week of classes that we together start to understand what a good case discussion feels like. It was quite simply magical to see this group come together even from their very first time. Section G, can you imagine that what now feels so comfortable and second nature felt so new back then? Hearing me say it, does it all come flooding back? How unknown it all was, how surprising. And doesn't it seem so long ago? I also wanted to bring you back to those very first moments to remind you of the first impressions and what you were thinking as you launched your lives at HBS. Now, starting at HBS is busy, like really busy, um, and can often be an overwhelming time. It's hard, really hard, to find some sense of balance, of self, of acceptance of FOMO when it feels quite literally like a fire hose has opened upon you. So Section G, take yourselves back to that time, that launch of your HBS career when days feel simultaneously like months because of how much you have managed to get done. But then somehow a day can also feel like just a minute as it flies by. It feels like there can't possibly be enough time in the day to do what you want to do, and there isn't. And so you needed to make choices that seemed impossible. When it all felt very overwhelming in that first week, one important part of that introduction to HBS was when I asked you to take a moment and to just breathe, to reflect. Stop for a moment and ground yourself in what brought you here. Why now? Why is this important to you? What do you want to get out of this experience? And what do you want to do with this experience? And so reflect, you did. And as I read those reflections, I was touched by what they said. So much so that I still have a few post-it post -it notes on the cork mat around my desk to remind me of your collective wisdom. And so to remind you, Section G, here are some of the things that you wrote. There were reflections on being here for key skill and career goals, career switching, becoming a more confident public speaker, to hone leadership and interpersonal skills, and to learn how to motivate others, for learning how to embrace failure, to be able to build a company where people want to work, where my employees are good to each other. There were reflections about important and amazing big picture ambitions, wanting to improve home countries, revitalize hometowns and communities, have a positive impact on society, fix healthcare, help to lift people out of poverty, make the world a happier place, make education more fairly accessible, help women, fight inequality and selfless service. I want to inspire others that business can be good. There were deep personal goals, pushing through the fear of being judged and resisting the temptation to judge myself too harshly. Be authentically me. Make my life worthy of what I have been given. Pay it forward. Reflect every day on something I'm grateful for. I sometimes wonder if I'll ever grow up, and the truth is, I hope that I don't. I want to laugh every day. I want to enjoy the journey, and I want to keep the childish wonder. There were reflections on HBS. I've never met an institution so focused on pushing you outside your comfort zone, but I commit to try. And there were early reflections on this group of amazing people. You were moved by the empathy of this group, of the vulnerability. Some of you were shocked and impressed by how open others were willing to be. And you committed to try the same, to give part of you back. You wrote, from this experience, I will remember to ask people their stories. I resolve to listen. 
I am inspired by, the, by their stories. Very early on, there was a sense of belonging. Very early on, there was a sense that my peers are giving me courage. And last, but certainly not least, there were many reflections on those that supported you to get here. It is a feeling I imagine we can all relate to when things are new and when they're really demanding. And when there's both excitement and change, it's natural to both miss and truly appreciate what got us here. And so you wrote, I want to inspire my siblings. I appreciate everything my parents gave me, the education, the sacrifices. I want to remember my grandparents. I commit to staying in touch with my faith, my family, my friends. I know they have high expectations of me and I want to make them proud. Many of you reflected on your partners and a focus on building a home, a life together. And many of you said, I just want to call home and tell my family how much I love them. And so Saxon G, I took you back to your first reflections, your first days here, because there's an amazing symmetry to this experience where I had the honor of welcoming you here for the start. And I have the honor of seeing you again on the threshold of something else that is new. You are an extraordinary section graduating into extraordinary times. When you came, it all felt new and overwhelming, awe-inspiring and exhausting, but you have done it. You are graduates of Harvard Business School. It has a nice ring to it, right? And as you graduate into a different world than any of us could have envisioned, that might equally feel as overwhelming, awe-inspiring and exhausting as when you started HBS. Please remember the tools and what you learned that took you successfully through these last two years. When moments are tough and in the short term they may be, don't lose sight of those amazing long-term goals. Always take a moment to reflect and please don't lose the awe, the inspiration of where you came from mixed with the wonderment of amazing people around you and willingness to try something new. And remember this Section G family, continue to draw inspiration and strength from each other. In your own words, I hope that you always keep that sense of childish wonder. Whatever your path, I wish all of you happiness and health and success in whatever form that means to you. And so enough for me, uh, we will now transition to giving you your diplomas when we recognize each and every one of you. First, I'd like to just share a few minutes from the MBA chair, uh, Dan Rifkin, explaining the meaning of the honors and the titles that are gonna be conferred. Congratulations again to the class of 2020. You are now officially HBS graduates. You know, commencement day is my favorite day of the year. I love seeing our students so happy. I love seeing their families and friends rightly proud of their graduates and so excited about their bright futures. We now come to my favorite part of my favorite day of the year, the diploma ceremony, when we recognize each and every member of your session. As members of the class of 2020 are recognized, you'll hear mention of three kinds of honors. The first is distinction. This is for students who earned academic honors in both the first year and the second year of our program. The second is high distinction. These individuals not only earned honors in the first year and the second year, their combined academic performance placed them in the top 5% of their class as a whole. These students are also known as George F. Baker scholars, commemorating the individual whose generosity in the 1920s allowed us to build the campus. I invite you to look at the Baker Scholars page on the Commencement Day website to learn more about the legacy of George F. Baker and this particular distinction. Third and last, but by no means least, the Dean's Award celebrates the extraordinary achievements of graduating students who during their time at HBS made distinctive contributions to Harvard, to Harvard Business School, or the broader community. These students have contributed to the well-being of others through extraordinary acts of leadership. Students in the, uh, and all members of the community nominate these individuals, and then Dean Noria makes the final selection. So please enjoy the diploma ceremony. Uh, celebrate each and every member of your section. I hope that your section will remain close as mine has, and I hope that these two years at HBS will be just the beginning of an ongoing conversation among you as you enjoy long, happy years of making differences that are meaningful to you and meaningful for the world. Be well and be close. Great. 
Um, and so uh, now at long last, the actual diploma ceremony as you cross our virtual stage. Uh, if we want to continue to look on the bright side, as this group always does, we can be grateful that we aren't all in black robes under the baking sun. And so with that, let's start the show. Khalid al Amnas. William Albert. Luis Alfonso. Armand Amadeus. Distinction. Pavi Anand. Cameron Armstrong, Distinction. Chloe O'Coin. Lucas Baker, High Distinction. Mike Bain. Niel Barley. CC Barrett. Emily Bat. Jesse Bendit. Dean Benjamin. Shelley Blimmer. Ben Broughton. Jeff Boo. Brett Cantrell. Genevieve Chow. Supakorn Mo Kongsomjit. Frankie Costa. Manny Desiraga. Mary Teresa Mimi Discipio. Haley Donaldson, High Distinction. Scott Egan. Shahab Fadavi, High Distinction. Esther Fainzelberg. Justin Federbush. Enrico Ferrari. Anna Gonzalez Escudero. Flavio Gregorio. Robinson Gregg. Benny Cobble. Maddie Harlem. K. 
Caroline Hurst. Bianca Hoffman. Camille Hooks. Nathaniel Houghton. Ali Eigelhart. Nicole Ivy, High Distinction. Bradley Jean Baptiste. Hope Johnson. Henna Cotter. Christopher Langley. Michael Lewis. Samantha Lynn. Chang Lu, High Distinction. Chris Longman. Marcela Loredo. Tiffany Madden. Paxton Mater York. Nicolas Manes. Pratik Matai. Atung Matibesi. Trishi Meta. Sid Mattel, Distinction. Rachel Mokhalid. Ashley Montone. Isabella Nassif. Josh Nelson. Ariel Nadi. Dami Olagunju. Natalia Ortega. High distinction. Donald Ose Owusu. Keegan Pong. Mariano Parro. Christopher Payne. Andres Perez Valenzuela. Ethan Portnoy, High Distinction. Chrissy Pringle. Iris Ree. K. 
Caitlin Reeder. Jack Rockaway. Josh Rolator. Malika Saini. Theodore Seam. Jane Seema. Yanis Slimby. Hiroki Sugihara. Ben Salaji. Lovisa Tangberg. Dan Thau, Distinction. Paige Chai, Distinction. Joe Tung, High Distinction. Sarah Wang. Jennifer Yang Derek Yu Ivan Zar Sam Zegas Paxton Joe Marta Zvirsch Yay! Congratulations to you all. Um, I, it's wonderful to see you cross season the virtual stage. Uh, you should all be very proud. And now we can turn our attention to the many supporters who have helped to make this happen. To families, friends, mentors, partners, role models, and loved ones, your graduates were asked to contribute photos to recognize those whose support has meant so much to the HBS journey, whether long before the HBS journey began in the planning and run up to these last two special years, or the gratitude of knowing your encouragement will be there as these graduates make their way into the world. This video is celebrating all of that support and it is a beautiful and fitting way to close our diploma ceremony because we know just how much that support has contributed to the success of these grads. And so with that, I wish you all a safe and happy celebration and I cannot wait to see your future accomplishments. And I hope one day to be able to celebrate with you in person. Until then, know that I'm always here for you and would love to see you if you are ever back on campus. And thank you so much for letting me be here with you for this moment. And now to conclude and complete your diploma, diploma ceremony, let's end with a celebration of your loved ones. <laughs>